Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? Juliana. Did you know there's a guaranteed way for me to read your scary story? Consider joining our Patreon, where I read and personally respond to a story by a storyteller member every week. Who knows? It just might make it into the show, just like today's episode, inspired by a campfire story submitted by Lewis. There was a summer camp that was created many years ago called Sunny Summer Camp. It was originally an all-boys camp founded by a park ranger by the name of Sunny Summers. This story takes place the first year the camp became co-ed. So at orientation, the camp leader was explaining the Mr. Summers contest that was held at the end of every camp. The boy who looked the most like the founder would win a trophy and cash prize. A red-headed girl with long braided pigtails raised her hand. What if we open the contest to everybody this year? She asked. That's a great idea, Juliana, the camp leader exclaimed. And maybe the judging criteria could be less about appearance and more about whoever shares the most qualities with Sunny Summers. Everyone around her began clapping and cheering, except for a boy sitting a few rows behind her. His name was Dustin, and he wasn't happy with this change. He looked like the direct descendant of Sunny Summers and believed he was a guaranteed win. But now that they were changing the rules, he was worried he might not. Over the summer, his disdain for Juliana grew and grew. So the night before the Mr. Summers contest, Dustin asked his friend Trevor to help him with a prank. He didn't give him many details, just that he wanted to teach Juliana a lesson for having a big mouth. Dustin had been observing Juliana all summer and knew that she was usually the last one in her cabin because she would stay up and help the camp counselors clean. What a suck up, Dustin thought. So they hid in the nearby bushes until Juliana showed up. When she finally did, Dustin jumped in front of her and told her that one of the counselors was asking for her and motioned for her to follow them. When the three of them had walked a bit away from the cabins, Dustin pushed Juliana onto her back on the ground. The impact knocked her out. Dustin sat on her legs and told Trevor to hold her arms down in case she woke up. Trevor had no idea what Dustin was planning, but he silently obeyed. He watched in confusion as Dustin pulled out a needle and string from his pocket and began to sew Juliana's mouth shut. Once he was done, Dustin grabbed Juliana's legs and told Trevor to help him carry her to Sunny Rock, the highest point in camp. It overlooked the canyon and had a gorgeous view and a horrifying drop. They hid her body in a bush and hurried back to their cabins. That'll teach her to shut up, Dustin said. Trevor was speechless, still shaking from the horrific act he was an accomplice to. Dustin noticed. Dude, we're not gonna leave her out there forever. We'll go get her after the contest tomorrow. The next morning, Dustin and Trevor sat in the back row of the mess hall where the Mr. Summers contest, now renamed Sunny Summers contest, was being held. The camp leader called out the names of each contestant to the stage, but no one showed up when he called Juliana. There was only silence, aside from Dustin's stifled giggles. After the contest, Everyone walked back to their cabins to pack their things. Dustin and Trevor noticed the camp leader running around in a panic, asking campers if they'd seen Juliana. Dustin turned to Trevor and said it was time to go get her. They walked back to Sunny Rock, but her body was nowhere to be found. Oh God, Trevor said, feeling sick to his stomach. You don't think that she... He pointed over the edge of the cliff. As the boys peered over the edge, they heard a voice behind them, looking for me. It was Juliana. She was still alive. They turned around to see her standing there, but she was covered in dirt and blood. Her clothes were torn with twigs and leaves scattered all over. Her eyes were filled with rage and her mouth was still sewn shut. Her voice echoed inside of their heads. I can't let you hurt anyone else like this again. Juliana lunged toward Dustin, which caused him to step back, lose his balance, and fall down the cliff. Trevor couldn't move. 
and although he quietly stood there, Juliana could hear his racing thoughts bouncing around in his mind. Please, 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 please don't hurt me. It wasn't my idea. I, I didn't even really do anything. Juliana took a step towards him. Exactly. Many years have gone by since Juliana's death. A monument was erected on Sunny Rock in her honor. And every summer, the campers adorn it with flowers and the sunny summer sash. Legend has it that Juliana still watches over the camp, protecting those who speak up and punishing anyone who dares to silence them. If you're looking for a better night's sleep, I recommend that you try a purple mattress. They're firm and soft at the same time because they're made from a brand new material developed by an actual rocket scientist. They keep you supported and yet still very comfortable at the same time. And they're breathable, so you stay cool. So if you want to get a better night's sleep, try purple for a 100 night risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. Every mattress comes backed by a 10 year warranty and is shipped to your home for free. And while they're at it, Purple will set up and remove your old mattress for you as well. You're going to love Purple. And right now, our listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text SS to 84888. Message and data rates may apply. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially Dustin, who had a character named after them. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarl. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, sweet dreams.